Did you guys know that the additive Sunset Yellow is considered a hazardous additive? It is so bad for people's health that it's even banned in other countries. Sunset Yellow is known to be linked to kidney tumors, hives, DNA damage, abdominal pain, migraines, vomiting, hormonal changes, and much, much more. Now you may be asking yourself, why am I telling you all of this horrible news? Well, because Sunset Yellow is just one of the hazardous additives that can be found in your bag of Takis. Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to my very first video. In this video, we'll be talking all about Takis. Takis are one of the more popular spicy chips out there next to hot Cheetos, and I know a lot of you may enjoy eating them. Have you ever thought to yourself while eating your Takis, what's really in this bag of chips? That's exactly what I'm here for in this video. Not only will we be looking at the ingredients in Takis, but we will also explain the dangers of some of these additives that can be found in our foods. By the end of this video, you should know exactly why you should most likely switch out your bag of Takis for something not so hazardous. Takis might be a delicious, crunchy, spicy chip, but it also poses a large risk to your health. We all know that chips aren't really the healthiest snack, and we aren't expecting spicy chips to be healthy. Most chips are usually high in fat and way too salty to be considered healthy. Most people already know this, but what most people don't know is that Takis contain four hazardous additives in its ingredient list. In a normal serving of Takis, there contains 2 grams of saturated fat, 429 milligrams of sodium, 140 calories. It also contains a total of 9 additives, with 4 of those being considered hazardous and should be avoided. Sunset Yellow, which we already spoke about, Allura Red, which is known to cause allergies, brain damage, cancer, and much more for some people. There is also THBQ, that's known to cause vision disturbance for some people. And lastly, we have MSG, which is known to cause migraines, hot flashes. It can contribute to weight gain, diabetes, and it can even play a role in the development of autoimmune disorder. All of this in just one serving of Takis chips. As you can see, Takis are not a snack you should be regularly consuming during your snack session, or at all for that matter. As much as it might suck to throw those Takis in the trash, don't feel bad, as I got good news. What if I told you I know chips that are just like Takis, but literally don't contain any of those hazardous additives? If you live anywhere near an Aldi supermarket, you are in luck, as you can find your hazardous free Takis substitutes in your local Aldi supermarket. Taquitos are sold at Aldi's, and they're just like Takis with none of the hazardous additives. They're even organic. The ingredient list for these chips are straightforward. They are still a bit salty with one serving containing 370 milligrams of sodium. They have about the same calories as Takis with 140 calories. But the best part about these chips is that they contain no additives at all. Now we're going to do a taste test and see how they match up to the original Takis that you guys all come to know and love. Okay, so now we're gonna do the taste test between the Takis and the Taquitos. We're gonna see if the alternatives are just as good as the real ones. At first glance, you can already see that the Takis are a lot redder than the alternatives from Aldi's, and that's due to the food coloring that they add inside of them. These have a more natural look, like they're just made with salsa. The Takis have more of a gritty, like you can feel the seasoning and the extra salt on them. The alternatives still have that same effect that we all love, just like the Taki, you can feel the seasoning. Okay, so I've actually never tried these. I've already had Takis before, so I'm gonna be fair and try these first. Wow. They're literally identical to Takis. This is my first time trying these. And if I was to not see the bag, I would have literally thought I was handed a Taki. Now, just to be sure, I'm going to go ahead and try one. I think that the Aldi's ones are a lot better. I think that the Aldi's ones are a lot better. The tortilla and the taki one actually taste a little stale. These ones are a lot more crispier. The Aldi's ones are definitely better. Now let's get somebody else's opinion. Aiden, baby, would you like to come try the Takis? Yeah. Look at the camera. Oh, these ones are pretty good. 
Is it nice and spicy? Yeah, it's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. You want to try these ones? These are the real Takis. I like them too. Well, which, which one do you think tastes better? Both of them. You don't have a favorite one? Both of them. Well, this book is true. Now it's all your decision whether Takis are going to remain in your pantry. Like I said at the beginning of this video, chips aren't really ever the healthiest snack. There are just some days that you're craving a spicy, crunchy chip, and there's nothing else to satisfy your fix. Instead of heading to your local store and grabbing Takis, make your way to your closest Aldi's and grab yourself a bag of taquito, and skip all of those hazardous additives. That's the end of this video, and if you're still watching, thank you for making it to the end of my first video. If you guys would like me to cover any other snacks, please let me know in the comments. And if you can subscribe, I would appreciate it a ton. Also, really quick, make sure you go follow me on TikTok if you're not already. The link will be in the description. On TikTok, I respond directly to your guys' requests on what I should take a look at. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.